Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa's jewel, a city rich with culture, history, and breathtaking landscapes. From the iconic silhouette of Table Mountain to the shimmering waters of the Atlantic Ocean, Cape Town is a feast for the senses. Our adventure begins on the slopes of Table Mountain, a natural wonder that has captivated explorers and adventurers for centuries. We'll ascend to its summit, soaring above the city in a cable car, to witness a panorama that stretches as far as the eye can see. Dominating the skyline, Table Mountain stands as a silent guardian, a testament to the forces that shaped this dramatic landscape. Its sheer cliffs, carved by wind and weather over millennia, rise over 3,500 feet above sea level, casting a watchful eye over the city below. As we make our ascent in the cable car, the city sprawls beneath us, a vibrant tapestry of neighborhoods, parks, and waterways. At the summit, a panorama of breathtaking beauty unfolds. To the south, the Atlantic Ocean stretches towards Antarctica, its vastness humbling. This is Table Mountain, a place of awe-inspiring beauty, a symbol of Cape Town's enduring spirit. Our next destination takes us from the heights of Table Mountain to a small windswept island in Table Bay Robben Island, a place forever etched in the annals of South Africa's turbulent history. For centuries, this island served as a place of exile, a leper colony, and most notably, a maximum security prison for political prisoners during the apartheid era. As our ferry approaches the island, the weight of history feels palpable. We disembark, stepping onto the same shores as countless political prisoners, including Nelson Mandela, who spent 18 years of his life confined within these walls. Our guide, a former political prisoner himself, shares his personal story, his voice resonating with resilience and the indomitable spirit of hope. Leaving Robben Island, we carry with us a profound sense of history and a deep respect for the sacrifices made in the pursuit of freedom and equality. From the somber history of Robben Island, we journey to a place brimming with life, color, and a captivating blend of cultures, the Bokap. Nestled on the slopes of Signal Hill, this historic neighborhood is a feast for the senses, a vibrant tapestry of cobbled streets, brightly painted houses, and the tantalizing aromas of Cape Malay cuisine. The houses painted in a dazzling array of hues, turquoise, lime green, sunshine yellow, flamingo pink, seem to radiate joy, each one a testament to the spirit of the community. The aroma of spices wafts from homes, inviting us to sample the local delicacies. We pause at a local restaurant, where the owner, a descendant of the original settlers, welcomes us with open arms and a feast of traditional Cape Malay cuisine. Leaving the bow cap, we carry with us the warmth of its people, the vibrancy of its colors, and the lingering flavors of its cuisine. Leaving the vibrant energy of Cape Town behind, we embark on a scenic drive through rolling hills and vineyards, our destination, the Cape Winelands, a region renowned for its world-class wines, breathtaking scenery, and charming towns steeped in history. As we journey deeper into the winelands, the landscape transforms into a tapestry of vineyards, their rows of meticulously pruned vines stretching as far as the eye can see. Our first stop is Stellenbosch, the heart of the winelands, a town with a rich history dating back to the late 17th century. We stroll along oak-lined avenues, admiring the well-preserved Cape Dutch architecture, a testament to the region's colonial past. No trip to the winelands would be complete without a visit to a wine estate. As the sun begins to set, casting a golden glow over the vineyards, we raise a glass to the beauty of our surroundings and the rich traditions of the Cape Winelands. From the verdant valleys of the Cape Winelands, we return to the coast, where the Atlantic Ocean crashes against the dramatic slopes of Lion's Head, beckoning us to the sun-drenched shores of Clifton and Camps Bay, two of Cape Town's most iconic beaches. As we descend from the mountains, the vista unfolds before us, a panorama of turquoise waters, pristine white sand, and the iconic silhouettes of Lion's Head and the Twelve Apostles mountain range framing the scene. Clifton, with its four secluded beaches nestled between granite boulders, offers a sense of tranquility and exclusivity. A short drive along the coast brings us to Camps Bay, a vibrant beach known for its lively atmosphere, trendy restaurants, and stunning views of the Atlantic. We stroll along the promenade, 
the air alive with the chatter of locals and tourists alike, enjoying the vibrant energy of this iconic beach. As the sun begins its descent, casting a golden glow over the Atlantic, we find a spot on the beach, the sand cool beneath our feet. From the sun-drenched shores of Clifton and Camps Bay, we journey to a place where the past casts a long shadow, a poignant reminder of the injustices of apartheid District 6. Once a vibrant, multicultural community, District 6 was tragically razed to the ground in the 1960s, its residents forcibly removed under the Group Areas Act. We stand on the slopes of Signal Hill, overlooking the area where District 6 once stood, its absence keenly felt. Our guide, a former resident of District 6, shares his personal story, his voice filled with a mix of sadness and resilience. We step inside the District 6 Museum, a powerful testament to the lives and memories of those forcibly removed from their homes. Leaving the District 6 Museum, we carry with us a profound sense of loss, a deep empathy for those who suffered under apartheid, and a renewed commitment to ensuring that such atrocities are never forgotten. From the poignant reminders of the past in District 6, we journey to a place where history and modernity collide, the V and A waterfront. Set against the backdrop of Table Mountain and the shimmering waters of Table Bay, the V and A waterfront is a bustling hub of activity, a vibrant mix of shops, restaurants, museums and entertainment venues. As we stroll along the waterfront promenade, the salty tang of the ocean fills the air, a constant reminder of Cape Town's maritime heritage. The iconic red and white Two Oceans Aquarium stands proudly on the pier, inviting us to explore the wonders of the underwater world. We wander through the historic Clock Tower precinct, its cobbled streets and Victorian-era buildings whispering tales of a bygone era. The V and A waterfront is a microcosm of Cape Town itself, a place where history, culture and modernity converge, offering something for everyone. As the sun begins its descent, casting long shadows across the city, we make our way to Signal Hill, a vantage point that promises breathtaking panoramic views of Cape Town as it prepares for the night. The road winds its way up the slopes of Signal Hill, offering glimpses of the city below, each turn revealing a new perspective. We reach the summit just as the sun begins to dip below the horizon, painting the sky in a breathtaking palette of colors. The city lights begin to twinkle, transforming Cape Town into a magical landscape of shimmering gold and twinkling diamonds. To the east, Table Mountain stands silhouetted against the fiery sky, its imposing presence even more dramatic in the fading light. Signal Hill offers a magical end to our day, a moment of tranquility and awe-inspiring beauty that encapsulates the magic of Cape Town. Our exploration of Cape Town wouldn't be complete without indulging in the city's rich culinary landscape. From the fragrant spices of Cape Malay curries to the succulent seafood fresh from the ocean, Cape Town's cuisine is a melting pot of flavors, reflecting the city's diverse cultural heritage. We start our culinary adventure at a local market, where the air is filled with the aromas of fresh produce, spices and freshly baked bread. We sample biltong, a traditional South African dried meat, its savory flavor a testament to the country's love affair with all things meat. Next, we venture to a restaurant specializing in Cape Malay cuisine, where the aroma of spices fills the air, transporting us to the heart of the Bokap. For a sweet treat, we indulge in a slice of Malva pudding, a traditional South African dessert, its sticky sweetness a perfect ending to our culinary adventure. Our journey through Cape Town culminates in an experience of unparalleled luxury at the one and only Cape Town, an urban oasis where breathtaking views exceptional service, and world-class amenities combine to create an unforgettable stay. As we arrive at the hotel, we're greeted by a sense of tranquility and grandeur. The hotel's sleek contemporary design blends seamlessly with its natural surroundings, offering breathtaking views of Table Mountain and the lush greenery of the hotel's private island. We check into our spacious suite, its floor-to-ceiling windows framing picture-perfect views of the mountain, the one and only Cape Town is renowned for its exceptional dining experiences, and we're not disappointed. The one and only Cape Town is more than just a hotel. It's an experience, a destination in itself. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Cape Town. 
Whether it's the mountains, museums, or mouth-watering meals, this city has something for everyone. From the heights of Table Mountain to the shores of Camps Bay, from the poignant history of District 6 to the vibrant energy of the V and A waterfront Cape Town has revealed its many layers, each one as captivating as the last. But more than just its landmarks and attractions, it's the spirit of Cape Town that leaves a lasting impression. The warmth of its people, the resilience of its communities, and the vibrant energy that pulsates through its streets make it a city that stays with you long after you've said goodbye. Until next time, keep exploring.